Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David and Ark, and today we're going to take a look at one of the things that came out in the new 0.15, and that is the AI scripting. I played a little bit with this uh, off camera, and I was like, "Oh no, we've got to! I, I got to show you this. This is so freaking cool." So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to spawn in. Oops, let me move a little bit. We're going to spawn in a second vehicle, and I'm just going to put it up here just because. So, again, I mean, it doesn't matter what you spawn in. Um, and what's also really cool about this, and I'll show you when we get there, uh, you can actually change vehicles, and it will follow the same path you, that you recorded. I got the hiccups as soon as I started recording, of course. All right, so to start the AI path, project scenario whatever you want to call it you have to press f10 on your keyboard and that will bring up your tools menu and when you click on tools then you go to the script ai manager now um one of the weird things about it is the columns don't always go where they're supposed to so what you should see is something like this and i'm not sure what not sure what this other column is supposed to be. Oh, progress. Uh, of course. That'll make sense in just a minute. Okay. So you, when you bring up the AI manager, you have a couple of things. One is the player, and that is the ETKC, which is um, this car. Right, that's me, that's the player. And then clone is the second car that I popped in. And you'll notice that you, I can switch between these anytime I want to. All right, so idle means it's not doing anything. And then progress, you'll see after we're done. But I can start recording, I can do playback, I can load a recording, and then I can also save a recording after I've got one. And then there's some other stuff too that we'll look at. Um, but right now I'm going to record a path. So I just hit the little record button and as soon as I do you see it says recording and it's recording whatever my car, whoops, whatever I'm telling the car to do. Well, that's going to be fun to watch the AI cut that corner. And so the AI is going to follow, oops, as close as it can to what you're doing on the screen in the game. All right. So whatever you do, it's going to try to do. And, I mean, it doesn't matter. It, it, it's following the path that you laid out. And so far as I can tell, it's also, I think it's also following the approximate speed. I could be wrong about that. So however long you want it to go, that's how long it goes. And if you want it to be a circuit, you just loop yourself back around to where you started and it becomes a circuit. Otherwise, you just drive until you don't want it to drive anymore and call it good. Now, I have no idea what all these little icons are that are showing up. I have no clue. But anyway, so I'm just driving. Oh, look, there's a little orange marker. Um, so, again, I'm just driving off here into the distance. Okay, so let's pretend that this is going to be a bad guy, and he is going to try to get away. So, I'm going to drive until, um, I don't know. Let's see, I'm trying to find, I can't remember where there's a hideout on this map. So, just for the sake of argument, let's pretend that if he makes it down to the beach down here, then he hops in a boat and he's scot-free. Er, okay, so I'm done. I hit stop. All right, now the first thing that you're going to notice is that there is now a purple path that shows up in the game. Now, this is very, very cool. If I hit play right now, then the car jumps back to the beginning and it plays my recording based on approximately where I went. And so you can see that it is cruising along here following this purple path. That is awesome. All right, so that is following the path. All right, so I'm gonna tell it to stop. 
and the AI crashes. Yay, good for you. Okay, so what's really cool about this is, let's say I switch back to my car, all right? So now I'm the player. Now I can still go in here and I can tell the clone to play and he should spawn back here. There we go. And now I can chase the, whoa. I messed myself up. I can now chase the AI who is following my path, right? It's not really fleeing from me. It's just following the path that I laid out. So I can try to catch him. And remember, I got to try to catch him before he gets to the beach, at least in, in my head. I mean, there's nothing that says that's what happens. It's just what I had said before. So here's another cool thing. All right. Uh, all right. No matter what you do to the AI car, it is bent oops, on following the path and finishing its mission. Another weird thing, though, is that um, especially if you do like a circuit or if you do figure eights or whatever, it tries to figure out the, the closest, fastest way to get back on track and then go from there. I mean, it is crazy. We'll try to play with that some. My car's pretty banged up. <laughs> ah, I broke my car. So another thing is, and we'll see how this plays out to the end. Notice the um, state. It's playing and it's at 75%, right? So what happens here is that this is going to play through until it gets to the end. And then it is going to loop around and start all over again. It is on an infinite loop so he goes down here trying to stay on the path and when the car gets to the bottom 98 99 100 you'll notice that it starts over now so we're good stop all right so we're good with this we like this if i want to i can now save this recording and i could load it up later if i want to under more, that's where the loop comes in. So if I don't want it to loop, if I want this to be a one-time thing, I can take off the loop. The debug is what shows you the path. So if, if I turn off debugging, right? Now you don't see the path on the screen. This is what's so cool. So let me reset myself, because I'm an idiot. And you'll notice that you can see my starting icon here. Um, I think that's actually because I'm in this tools mode or whatever they call this mode. Um, but let me show you something really, really cool. So if I start the clone, if I tell it to go, and I pause the physics and then hit F10, I get out of that mode, but I'm not out of that, but it's still going to run the script. So he's going to take off following the path that I set out for him to follow, but that path is not showing up on the screen anywhere. So this lets you play and record without the path being exposed. So you can create all kinds of cool scenarios. And I call them scenarios, that's situations, I guess is what I should call them. I'm trying to, oh! Whoops. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Yeah. So I, I kind of dinged him up a little bit, but I was trying to push him from behind. I should have just tried to pit him and call it good. All right. So I'm going to go back into the F10 mode. And where's my mouse? Here we go. All right. Stop. <laughs> I love how when you push stop, it's just like the AI is like, oh, okay, well, I'm not driving anymore. So very cool. All right, and we'll just set you back to the home place. I'll set me to the home place. Okay, so what's really cool about this is I can now, if I want to, I can actually even spawn in another car. Um, let's just say for the sake of argument, I'll spawn one in over here. So I'm going to spawn in a second car. And with him spawned in, you'll notice now he is the clone with the Autobello. I'm so glad they at least give you the name of the car. So now, okay, I'm going to record the Autobello. And we'll have the Autobello go up here. 
Yahoo! And come up here. So you'll notice that the clone, the first clone, the sunburst, is just hanging out while I'm recording another path, right? So I'm recording this path. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Good luck to you, Mr. AI. <laughs> it's what happens when you have an idiot behind the wheel. All right. So for this one, I'm just going to do that just because. All right. So what's really, really cool about this is now I have everybody reset to their respective home positions, right? So what I'm going to do is, okay, this is me. Uh, again, if I don't want to see the path, I can go in here to the more on the Autobello, and I can tell it not to loop, and I can tell it not to debug. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to have it loop, but not debug, just, I don't know, because. Um, and I think the same thing with this. All right. So, what's really cool about this is, um, actually, I'm going to free cam for a minute. Because now, if I hit the play at the top, then it plays everyone who has a path set for them. So play. And there we go. Now they're both taking off and now I've got to go catch them. Ouch, except I'm an awful driver and that's not really gonna work for me. So if I decided that I wanted to take off and go after that Autobello. Ah, come on, seriously. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> if I wanted to go after that Autobello, well, really, I'm sure he's almost time to reset at this point. I might as well just wait, but that's okay. Let's see. Let's see how far he is. Oops. Ah. Oh, okay. So this is an issue, right? So I will make a post on BeamNG about this. Eventually, what happens is the game crashes. There's like a weird stack. Oh my gosh, that is so loud. Okay, so what happens is, and I don't know what causes it, but there's a like some, some kind of weird stack overflow error, and my game crashes. I don't know if it's if I play with the script too long. I don't know if it's the path is too long. I don't know what it is, but so far, every time I've played with the AI. Uh, path creation it has crashed out on me like that so anyhow you can still play with it it's a lot of fun while it's working it's great <laughs> all right so i'm going to bring this back up let's go back into the ai manager uh, you'll notice that my window is all messed up so i have to move the columns over it's not a major thing it's just kind of a pain in the butt all right so i'm going to record my path yahoo All right. So let's just record a path here. And we can see where we started, so that's cool. We'll just do that. <coughs> All right. Stop. All right. So what's really cool is uh, if I hit home, all right, just moves me to the next thing over here. But what I can do is I can go in here and I can change vehicles. Replace the current vehicle, because that will make me the player. Except now you see that I'm a pickup. And now when I hit play, the pickup is going to follow the path that I recorded with the uh, other vehicle. Oh yeah, look at that. So, to me, what's really cool about that is you can run a, a, a situation where you record a particular path, and then you can see how the AI performs doing that same path with different vehicles. I, I don't know. I, I just I, I think the potential for creating, well, frankly, uh, havoc is spot on with this particular thing. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, by the way, so if I wanted to save this path, I could save the recording. Notice uh, I can give uh, give it a file name. It just it has one you know by default, so that's fine by me. So I say OK, and then if I want to load it later, it'll have it in here under the replay script AI. It, there'll be a, you know whatever recordings I have, so I can pick one. 
and then it will load it back again. So there you go. Awesome stuff. That is the script AI manager. Just a quick overview just to show you, you know, kind of what's going on. So what would be cool, I don't even know if you can do that. If you spawn in a new, I guess not. So say if you spawn in a, a different vehicle, right? Could you have that follow the same path that already exists? I don't know. Let's find out. <gasps> he does. Oh, that is so cool. Holy cow. So you could have multiple vehicles all following the same path at the same time. Oh, that is awesome. So you know what that means? That means like you could set up race tracks where you'd have multiple cars all racing uh, at, at the same time. Now, I don't know what that exactly would look like. Oh, <laughs> oh that was hilarious. <laughs> okay, so actually, that's one of the cool things that that demonstrates. Your uh, vehicle will reset when the bar gets to 100%, but they don't have to necessarily complete 100% of the program. Uh, it's really bizarre. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't quite mean to do that. I was actually just trying to keep you here. So, like, I'm holding on to them, but you'll notice that as the wheels were spinning, that was counting as progress. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to rip your car to shreds. Oh, wait, that's what I, actually what I wanted. Come on. Give me this dot. Fine. So if I hold this here, you'll notice that as long as the vehicle is moving, whoa. Right? So as long as the wheels are spinning, then that counts as progress. You can see that up there in the sunburst, and all of a sudden, it's gonna count as 100%, and then it'll restart because I am on replay. Oh, he can't move right now. So actually, he's kind of frozen. Oh, there he goes. So you'll see in a second here, he'll reset. Click, so he resets. Oh, but that's awesome. You can have multiple vehicles following the path all at the same time. That is so cool. I didn't even know that you could do that. Oh, that's awesome. There you go. <laughs> Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the AI, the script AI manager. Just kind of an overview playing around. And you notice this one hasn't crashed. Now it probably will now that I said that. But, you know, it's not a very big path. And really, at this point, I have two vehicles following the same path, so it seems like it's working okay. So I guess it's got its limitations for now, but oh, that is so, so cool. Man, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Beam and G-Drive.